what's popping excuse my coat if it gets a little rowdy in here but y'all know it's october so it's a little chilly outside but your girl is back with another video make sure you guys subscribe like comment do all the words y'all know already know what it is i don't gotta keep repeating myself anyway so this video is a halloween tag and i like i wanted to do this just because i felt like you know everybody has their favorite time of the year mine specifically is the fall and i definitely feel like halloween gets a bad rep sometimes so we're gonna go ahead and actually just get into this video like i said this is a halloween tag so if you have any like questions down below questions down below if you have any questions drop them down below or if you agree with anything I said, let me know down in the comments. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So first things first in this Halloween tag, the first question is, what is your favorite Halloween candy? So y'all are probably gonna call me gross. I don't care. I freaking love this candy. I love me some candy corn. I will eat the heck out of some candy corn. A little candy corn, a little candy corn pumpkins, the one that has like the uh, the one with like chocolate almost too. I freaking love candy corn. Y'all can call me a Halloween demon y'all want to, but Halloween. Mm, that candy corn is it and pop when I see it in stores I'm gonna go pick it up okay that's my favorite thing so second question is my favorite horror film okay if y'all don't know your girl you're gonna get to know her some more today make sure you guys are checking out these other tags that I might do too just so you can get some more facts about your girl first of all I am a horror film film <laughs> I am a horror film when I say I've seen literally every scary movie there is, all the Conjurings, all the Insidious, all the Halloweens, and I'm even talking about like Lori Strode when it was, um, why can't I think of her name right now? That's crazy because I'm a big fan of her. Um, basically back to the original Halloweens, all the original Friday the 13th. I've even seen Friday the 13th with Jason X when he was a robot out in outer space. All the original Nightmare on Elm Streets. I've seen all the grudges, even the one that says Jew on, which is I think is like the original one. All the Chucky movies, I'm, I can go on for days. When I say I am a horror film queen, there is not a horror film that I have not seen. Trust and believe that. Because I guarantee you, if you say, oh, what about Candyman? Seen the original ones and seen the recent one. I'm telling you, your girl is on it. I don't play that about my horror films. I'm going to go see a scary movie. That's one thing about me. Um, but my favorite horror film... Oh my gosh. I don't really think I have a favorite. Um, like I said, I love all things scary. Down from um, the collector and the collection. Even when, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of that movie. It was on Netflix with like this clown that didn't speak. He was like black and white or whatever. I don't even think he was real. I think he was like a monster. Um, Jeepers Creepers. I'm going to sit down and watch The Strangers. Even though that one really actually freaks me out. I have a thing with people in masks, but that's like that one. I can't watch it alone. I have to watch it with my husband. Isn't that strange? Yeah, but I don't really have a favorite. I love horror films. I love them all. Creepiest thing to happen to me while I was alone. <laughs> okay, so this goes actually back to maybe, I think I was like third or fourth grade, honestly. And I was hanging out with my friend Octavia at the time. Um, I wish I could find her too. I loved her so much. Um, but I, we lost contact military. Um, military kids, that is. So I was having a sleepover per usual with my best friend and it's late at night. We're playing the game Clue, um, eating snacks, jumping around in my room or whatever. And then, you know, it's really late outside. When I say late, I mean late as all get out. It's We were probably up until like 1.32 something in the morning, maybe even that, like it was late. And my mom was sleeping. I know she was sleeping because she was snoring, first of all. And her room door was closed and her all the lights were off. My little brother and little sister were knocked out too because at the time they were probably like, my little sister had to have been in like pre-K or kindergarten. So she was asleep. She wasn't going to be up that late. And my little brother was a baby. He wasn't even in school yet. So I know he was asleep. Um, and he was in the room with my mom. And uh, we were just in the room chilling and laughing and joking. And then I... I think we were telling scary stories. I really don't remember. But I remember sitting there with her and we heard like this, like three knocks on my window. And my room is on the second floor in the back of the house. And there's no way that anybody could scale the house to get up there. First of all, we live on base. So there was MPs patrolling 24 seven. And then the way our, our lights worked anyway was that if somebody came in the backyard, they would flip on. Yo, when we heard the knock, we both just like stopped and was just like, did you hear that? Like, I'm thinking like sleepiness done took over on me or something. And I'm like, maybe I'm here and stuff. But she was like, no, like it sounded like it came from the window. So literally we opened my, my, my bedroom door is closed too. So we opened my bedroom door. There's no way that my little brother or little sister could have ran over there and knocked on the door either. No, we would have caught them. I would have heard them scaring away. We got up, went down the hallway. And then we like looked at my mom's room. Her door was closed. 
And when I say snoring, like her pattern did not break whatsoever. She was still asleep. I looked in my brother's sister's room because their door was wide open. And my sister was on her top bunk bed, knocked out, mouth open. Like, come on now. So we literally walked back to the room and we was like, yo, are you serious? Like, that wasn't like a, oh, she knocked and I didn't see it joke type of thing. This wasn't like a, oh, the house is settling type of thing. No, no. When I tell you we both were just like, F that, we're going to bed, close our eyes, go to sleep. And y'all will probably think, y'all turn the lights off? No, I didn't. <laughs> I did not. And we were just shook. And then like literally that morning, we asked my mom if she knocked on our door last night. And she was like, girl, I was knocked out. Y'all know I'm in the military. I ain't nobody getting up at two, two three something in the morning. Not on the weekend, at least, because y'all know if army pt early like at five or something in the morning she wasn't up but um the other one i was alone in my room doing homework with the lights off um the hallway light was on my mom was downstairs cooking dinner and my little brother and little sister were also downstairs with her excuse me from talking fast just because i just want to run through this story um and the ac had just cut off it had just cut off there was a piece of paper under my closet door and the way my closets were set up it was like three doors and they were sliding doors and i'm sitting there in the bed and i see like the paper like kind of flutter like underneath the door so I was just like okay maybe it was just the AC but then the way it moved the second time I left out of my room so fast because I was like there's no way that AC made it move like that like it moves like like this like somebody was taking their hand and going like this like it freaked me the freak out that was the second one that I was like yeah I'll wait okay if I'm alone in my house and I hear footsteps what do I do so I have a baby girl Naomi I have my two little boys, Caden and Cameron, and my husband. It's not really a time too much that I am alone, but if I was ever alone and I heard footsteps in my house, I don't care what nobody say. I'm not going downstairs to check it out. I'm not asking who it is. I won't be sitting on the motherfucking roof outside of my window waiting for my husband to get home. Like, I'm not gonna go check it out. What I, I, what I look like? No, no. I know people say, oh, well you gotta protect your house. My house ain't gonna protect me clearly because they let whoever it is in the house. So no, I'm gonna be on the roof, scaling down my wall and going and I'm leaving. I'm gonna call my husband and be like, yo, I know you're not at home. We're not doing that. Mm -mm. That's it. Plain and simple. I'm, I'm, y'all, mm. <clears throat> y'all see my complexion. Yeah. Would I ever take part in a seance? As I stated. Y'all see my complexion. No, I will not. The only thing I will be summoning in, in my home is Jesus Christ. That is it. That's the only person I call on <laughs> in this house. And that'll be the only person I call on. Okay, nothing but positive energy over here. We are not doing no seances. I don't care. I know you people are like, oh, I want to contact a loved one. <laughs> I'll see you when I see you. I'm not doing that. No. No. When do I think it's time to stop trick-or-treating? I don't really think there's a time that you have to stop. First of all, free candy is free candy. But for the most part, honestly, I just feel like Halloween is meant to be fun. And I I just I just feel like, you know, it's a time of year where everybody can dress up and be who they want to be without being frowned upon. And I know that's sad because any other day it's like you get shame for being who you are. And I feel like Halloween just allows you to express that in yourself. It allows you to just be what you want without people looking at you crazy. And even if they do look at you crazy, it's kind of just like, well, whatever, it's Halloween and we're all looking at everybody crazy. But it's also still interesting. So I don't really think there's ever really a time to stop trick-or-treating because um, you can you can go to door-to-door -door with your kids or your family, you know, make it like a cute game or like a just a family outing. Or you can even do it inside your house. Like, you know, have your kids at the doors or have your family members at each door in the room and not gonna do it trick-or-treating that way if you don't want to go outside i definitely feel like there's not really a time to stop trick-or-treating i just i feel like that goes hand in hand with like oh when do you stop celebrating certain holidays you don't have to stop celebrating life okay have fun do i believe halloween is evil now so i say this because i know most people are like oh well that's a night day i'm not gonna say the word but you know evil stuff comes out okay here's the thing we all know there's evil in this world. We all know that. But there's also good people in this world. However, with Halloween, if anything for that matter, any occurrence, it can only be evil if the person that's doing the acts are evil. What am I dressing up for for Halloween? I have so many ideas, honestly. I would love to do, I love Scooby-Doo, okay? So I would love to do Scooby-Doo. My husband wants to do Power Rangers. I know uh, I want to do the Flintstones, but it's kind of weird now because it's just like, you know, you have Pebbles, Bam Bam, 
and Dino, Dino, their dog, dinosaur dog. Um, and I know Bam Bam isn't a part of that family with the Flintstones, so that's the only thing, so it'll kind of be backwards, but I mean, who cares, it's my family. Whew, we could do Ghostbusters, we could do a lot of things, I really don't know. Um, so just stay tuned for that, because I will be dropping a Halloween vlog for you guys, so whatever that is, you guys will see, for sure. Favorite, last question, uh, my favorite Halloween festivities. I truly love carving pumpkins for one and honestly just just watching halloween movies like around this time i love like stuff like that my favorite thing to watch that i feel like it's a year-round movie honestly but i definitely think like halloween is my favorite time to watch it. i love Coraline. um they keep hinting at a Coraline too which i would love to see but Coraline is definitely one of my favorite movies so watching Coraline carving pumpkins and I guess going out to just go look at Halloween costumes is fun too but that's really my favorite festivities for doing that um for Halloween I feel like there's so much to enjoy about Halloween or really just the season itself um not everything has to be just strictly about Halloween like it's beautiful outside during this time um because of all the different changing leaves or whatnot but that's pretty much it for this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed my Halloween tag let me know if you agree with anything that I said down below let me know you know Know what your answers might have been to these questions for sure and I will see you guys next time and happy Halloween